Hey guys, it's FIFA Rally here and welcome to episode 15 of the skilling career mode and um, yeah, in the last three games we ran into some bad form, we only got one point away from three games. So it's seen Chelsea close the gap between us, they're only two points behind us in the table now. So going away to Crystal Palace, we definitely need a win, get back on a winning streak and make sure Chelsea wouldn't climb ahead of us in the table if we at least wanted to, to compete for that uh, first place spot of the Premier League. So yeah, we're up against ninth place Crystal Palace away. And yeah, as I said, I was hoping we could get a win in this match, and I was playing McCarthy in the net again. He played well against Arsenal, kept a clean sheet in the last match. And yeah, Isla Ferdinand, Unu and Traore in the defence, Sandro and Fair rocking in the midfield, Tarap, Kelvin, Chikawi and Varkas as our creative force. And Chikawi actually played really well in this game. We played 10 minutes, and he just completely outplays the entire Crystal Palace defence. And he's going to score to make it 1-0. Very nice to see that because it's been a while since Chikawi really scored. It was all the way back to the Sunderland game, I believe. I think that was back in February, like one and a half, two months ago. He scored four goals back then. And then between that match and now, I think he's only scored one goal. So it was really nice seeing him getting another goal. And he played really great in this game. Unlucky not to get a second goal there. And we definitely had the initiative. initiative. We kept on creating chances and um, yeah, we were looking for that 2-0 goal just to close the game and uh, make sure we won it. And yeah, we, we piled on the pressure to wrap on the ball here. A step over past one defender, we were left past another one. But he could not find the back of the net, unfortunately. Unfortunately, But at halftime, of the chances that were in the game, we had them all basically. And we kept on pushing on into the second half, finding to wrap here, but it's right on the key. But an easy save there, and instead it's Crystal Palace to get their very first chance of the game, but they're blasted over the goal. And that was, I think, pretty much the best chance of the game. We're definitely sitting uh, sitting on the chances and the play. And uh, Chikawi on the ball here, going a little bit back and forth with the skill moves before he plays it on through to Terap, who just couldn't score in this game, unfortunately. And instead, Chikawi on the ball again, but right on the keeper again, and an easy save. But eventually, in the 19th minute, we would actually get that second goal of the game. Sandro with a lovely through ball to Phillips. He would send it into the box. And Chikawi had hope for a back heel shot there. Something fancy. He just uh, tapped it in over the line. And that would make it 2-0. His second goal of the game. And it was nice seeing him getting two goals. Giving him a bit of confidence. Because we definitely need him to get back onto scoring ways. Because, uh, well, for once we have Chelsea just right behind us in the table. And... We also got a game up against Chelsea very soon, so I would like uh, I would like Chikawi to get uh, the confidence that he can score and that he might be able to back a goal or two against Chelsea because that would probably be a tough game. But first up, we do have a game up against Everton two, three days after the Crystal Palace game, and that pretty much meant we had a completely different starting lineup. Ten new players into into the lineup. The only player playing once again was. Basically, McCarthy keeping a clean sheet two games in a row. I decided he he would get another game in the net. Carrasco, Don, Jimenez, Yun Suk Jung, much fouling, Cranshaw, Phillips, Sifty, uh, Chifchi, Hoylet. Just an entire new lineup, basically, compared to the other game. Due to fitness reasons, we just couldn't really play anyone who played in the Crystal Palace game. Machi got the first chance of the game, but he couldn't find the back of the net. And instead, it was Everton on the ball, getting a shot in, but nice save from McCarthy. And unfortunately, uh, Jimenez, uh, he just didn't have that away. And he's been having some bad performances for me, at least in the defense. Uh, several times I've seen headers going in where he just didn't mark up probably and headed it away. So our Loney will probably go back to Atletico Madrid and he will probably stay there because he's not playing too well when he's getting playing time. And unfortunately, Everton was up 1-0 in this game. But then this happened from the free kick. I somehow got a penalty and I... I literally do not know what it was for. A terrible a terrible referee decision, but I was happy about it. Look at this. Morales trying to block the shot, and then outside the box, actually, something happens. It gives us a penalty. And, yeah, Cranshaw would step up for that, and he would score. He didn't score from the free kick earlier, but he got the goal from the free kick. And, yeah, we went up 1-1, and it gave us the hope to create more. Much with a nice fake shot, beating the defender, finding Cranshaw. And we actually score a second goal off the game. And I don't know what Howard was doing. us right on him. And he just bounced into the back of the net there. So we were leading at halftime. And we were sitting on most of the chances as well. And into the second half, 
literally nothing happened whatsoever. Like nothing. I believe Everton had two shots off target that didn't trouble McCarthy whatsoever. And we had one, two chances as well here towards the end. But we couldn't get the goal and that just means we win the game 2-1 to one in the end, which was fine. We did have a few more shots in on target than Everton, but it was a pretty even game overall. However, we did get the win, get the win, and we also did get an injury to foul in which in some way were not that great. But then again, we already have a bunch of players to play in the midfield in fair. Sandro, um, we have much to play as well. We have plenty of options to go with. And apart from that, it was time for an international break, basically. And um, at this point in time, Chelsea, they haven't played any games since our two last games. So we pay, basically put the pressure on to them. We won our two games and they will have to win their two next games if they want to, to keep up with us uh, at the top of the table, which is quite nice. And during the international break, I did get an offer from uh, New Zealand, but I had to decline that. I'm looking for sort of a... A okay or uh, pretty good European team uh, to manage and hopefully I'll be able to bring them into the Euros next year That is something I would like to do and apart from that we got our monthly report on our Future star our young prospect. He's between a 58 and 68 rated player for a 15 year old Pretty good and his potential is also looking a uh, very great and uh, Yeah, apart from that uh, Rob Green. He's definitely not happy. He did ask for uh, um, a race Earlier on in the season when he played really bad. I think he let seven goals in or something like that in two games And I was just I was not interested in giving him a race whatsoever in that point in time and since then McCarthy He's been keeping uh, two clean sheets out of three games. So um, yeah, I was definitely not interested in giving a uh, rub green that uh, race, but uh, the board was not happy with it. They they wanted me to meet his demands or else they put him out, uh, up on the transfer list. So they listed him up and to be fair, I was okay with that because I was thinking, you know what, he's getting kind of old. We can sell him on in the summer transfer window. Maybe pick up a new keeper or we'll keep on playing McCarthy because he's been doing pretty well, uh, as I said, keeping some clean sheets uh, in two out of three games, that is pretty all right. And yeah, uh, we reached Feb, uh, not February, we reached April and um, I think in March I forgot to show show the monthly report of uh, of the team. So here I have it. Fair is now a 79 rated player, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, Chikawi, he's a 76 rated player. His acceleration, sprint speed gone up. And uh, yeah, Vark is improving as well. And then of course the older players, they're declining a little bit. Carrasco getting a little bit better. Uh, Chief Chi, he's a 71 rated player. Yun Suk Jung, 70 rated. Matt Phillips, 73 rated. Cranch is still on the decline, unfortunately. Uh, Green, he's gone up this season, but he's 35 years of age. And I think, yeah, we will sell him on in the summer transfer window. And apart from that, Royal mm, slightly improving, but not gone up in the stat. Hoyle is 76 rated now. And uh, then we do have a, a bunch of uh, the the players out and loan, who's all pretty much been improving, apart from Corker. I don't know, he might... Don't he might not improve at all. I don't know but uh, apart from that we have one final game to play this episode And that's up against was Bromwich and I was hoping that I could, uh, could get a win here Chelsea during that international break and and that pause they managed to win all the games and they're sitting right behind us again in the table so so going to the Hawthorns, I was hoping that I could get yet another point because Chelsea, they've, they've been playing great as well. Like as you can see right now, they're just two points behind us. They have a better goal difference. So yeah, if we end up getting even amount of points with them, somehow they will they will still be at top of the table. So we're playing our strongest lineup possible uh, in this matchup, hoping to, to win the game. And uh, yeah, we nothing happened basically. First half... As you can see, a few shots, but nothing happened. Uh, West Bromwich had most of the possession, but didn't create anything. They got a shot in here. Nice save from uh, McCarthy in the net. And we got the tackle in here before the cross came into the box. And yeah, they got onto the ball again. And again, it's just McCarthy doing a good job in the net. And he's proving why he should play there. And uh, yeah, straight from that, we will actually try and go onto the counter check. Chikawi on the ball. He will break on through here. And I was thinking this will be a goal, but the chip was just not good enough. Should have gone for the power shot. And instead, it's Kelvin on the ball here in the 19th minute. Going a little bit back and forth. Being the defenders, trying to find fair inside the box. We couldn't find him. But we pick the ball up with Traore. We find a Vargas here on the edge of the box, beating a defender. 
And uh, yeah, he will beat him one more time. Finder, Fair, who turns around and somehow we get another penalty in this episode. Another one which is kind of questionable. I don't know. He did stick his leg out, but he hit the ball. And I'm not too sure how that was a penalty. But 19th minute goal from Terrapt. What an important goal that is to, to keep us ahead of Chelsea in the table. 19th minute win. And uh, yeah, that was extremely lucky. Not many chances in this game, to be honest. Uh, which promise was sitting on most of the possession. Didn't really create anything. And I didn't really create anything great either. But I got the win. And that is going to be where we end off this episode. And in the next episode, the first game will be going up against Chelsea. And I might upload that later on today. If this video reaches a thousand likes, I will upload the next episode as well. And that will be the top of the table class against Chelsea. So look forward to that. And apart from that, thank you for watching. And I will talk to you later.